Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. You know every religion out there claiming to be the true religion and representative of God and cross. But how many religions out there put out so much information, literature, claiming they are the true religion and everything that comes out of their mouth that they put in their publications is just like God and Christ could sit down and look at their literature and see there is no lies that was ever put in their magazines and unhidden truth. Well, I want to share an article that the Watchtower put out in one of their Wake magazines in 1968. And you can tell it is from the Watchtower, but part of part of it showing that the truth that leads to eternal life. That is one of their books. And you see some gems, pearls, well not pearls, but gems, diamonds, rubies, showing that how precious their literature is when we we know the ones who came out of this false religion that we find out that there's no truth in it so those gems precious gems means nothing it could be fake gems or we could say that gems is actually belongs to Satan the devil and we know their God Jehovah is the God of lie, which that would be Satan the devil. Because why would men put lies in their own publications if they're getting their uh, spiritual food from God himself. So, is God Jehovah lying to the governed body, the faithful and discreet slave, to put lies in the books to bring people all over the world into a false organization so they can lead themselves into the life everlasting destruction isn't that Satan's job or is God helping him too I don't think so I don't believe God is giving any man any spiritual food because if he was given spiritual food what was the purpose giving us the Bible the Hebrew scriptures the Greek scriptures if he was gonna give us spiritual food and he didn't need the Bible so in other words the Bible would be worthless if he was giving us new information from the faithful discreet slave. Something to think about. This is here's something right here. Part of it says I can't figure out the first word up there. It says it pays to tell the truth. So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to zoom in. 
and we'll take it from there. Are you one of those who believe our speech must be regulated to suit circumstances, that it may be necessary on our part to stretch the truth on occasion that difficulties may arise if you stick too close to the facts? Note the proverb. Okay, let's stop right here for a second. Is it, it may be necessary to our part to stretch the truth. Actually, the one who wrote this article for the governing body at that time, they did stretch the truth. Actually, they stretched the lie you can't stretch a truth when the religion, there is no truth in it. So what all they did is to stretch a lie to make the lies more interesting, to bring more people into their organization. And hiding the truth may cheerfully erase a situation but it is certain to compound the problem later on. Or we can look at it a different way that these people who published this magazine knew the information they was putting in, into this magazine was only telling half truth to lure people into this religion, making them think if the articles they write makes people think that why would they would be liars, and if they are uh, condemning people to lie or organization, or another religion, when themselves has been lying all the time. So let's go ahead and finish this. 1219, it is the lip of truth that will be firmly established forever, but the tongue of falsehood will be only as long as a moment. Hiding the truth may temporarily ease a situation, but it is certain to compound the problem later on. Besides, as the psalmist said, Peace 15, 1, 2, 0, Jehovah who will reside in your holy mountain? He who is walking FAU endlessly and practicing righteousness and speaking the truth in his heart. Today truth is not held in high esteem. As a result, the whole world has been turned away from God, and many honest-hearted people in all nations are in complete darkness as to what the future holds. You need not be one of such. Jesus said, the truth will set you free. The condition that he set forth was, if you remain in my W.L., you are really my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John 8, 31, 32. So, if you yearn for freedom, if you are earnest in your desire to know God, then you must keep seeking for it as for silver, and as for hid treasures. In that case you will understand the fear of Jehovah, and you will find the very knowledge of God. Prov 2, 4-7. This means you must turn to the Bible in serious study. You must reg six nice and accept the need for instruction. If necessary, you must be willing to put aside traditional views that have brought the world to its present deplorable condition. Is that too great a price to pay for real freedom, for the truth that leads to eternal life? I like the last part. It pays for real freedom for the truth that leads to eternal life. And even their book, The Truth That Leads to Eternal Life. Well, people, I'm going to be honest with you, just like a bunch of us who left this organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. The truth that leads you to eternal life is the Bible. It's not a religion. It's not a, a stupid cult that controls people, brainwash people. Yes, we're talking about Jehovah Witnesses and the Bible students and all other 
religions. Religions is being controlled by Satan the devil and his demons. When you can find so much lies in your religion, then it's time for you to wake up and get out. John Witness has a saying, where can you go? Where can you go when there's no truth out there? I can tell where you tell you people, friends, family, where to go. God's Word. If you wasn't allowed to go to God's Word to learn how to gain everlasting life and real peace and understanding the truth, he would never have the people from the Old Testament and the New Testament to read, to make the Bible. The Bible is God's word and Christ's words. That's all you need. You don't need a man to tell you how to live your life to be righteous. That should be you doing this for yourself. You don't need to waste your life sitting in a chair, listening to another man that he may say one thing in the church, and when he gets out of the church, he talks a different talk and walk a different way till he returns, start preaching again. That is the way men are. I'm not saying all of them is dishonest, but the ones that who puts literature like this and trying to deceive people, making them believe that they are righteous because they're showing unrighteous in other people's teach, b beliefs that lying will get you everlasting life. But it won't, Jehovah Witnesses. Because Watchtower's truth leads to everlasting death. Only getting out of your religion, you'll find the truth and you can live and you will gain eternal life because you're walking away from the government body. You're walking away of false teachings of the Watchtower. And it is hard to believe when people put crap like this in a magazine using God's words, Christ's words, to fool people thinking they use scriptures from the Bible to lure people in thinking that they are honest-hearted religion when they are nothing but weeds in the field waiting for the angels to come, cut them down, and burn them. Witnesses, we told you, we showed you with our videos, information on the internet, proof, watchtower is what they are, a false prophet ready to be destroyed when Christ comes. Please get out now.